morning class. My name is Jeremy Atanda. I'm a teacher of English. You are welcome to our today's activity. Today's lesson is about the state study on demographic problems. Okay, this today's lesson is in relation with the formal lesson you were taught last time. The formal lesson was about uh, vocabulary related to demographic problems. Okay, uh, let's be back to it. Uh, we have uh, some uh, expressions or some words related to uh, demographic problems. So among them, we can quote, uh, for example, population. Population. Okay, uh, the word population, uh, birth rates, population, birth rates, death rates, okay, growth, starvation, starvation, poverty, Okay, to name a few. Okay, uh, let's read. Population, birth rate, death rate, growth, starvation, poverty. Okay, are words related to demographic problems. But today is the lesson about uh, demographic problem, but it's a test. Okay, uh, the test is uh, the following. We have a test, and uh, this one is entitled Islam and a Planet in Crisis. Okay, uh, we have the test. Uh, okay, we have the test on my right. The test is uh, clear, but I'm going to read it, okay, to make things clear. Because uh, it's uh, very important to, first of all, uh, read it. Because uh, reading, okay, preceded compression. That's why we are going to read. So our test is about Islam and a planet in crisis. Let's read. In Pakistan, in a period of 30 years, our population rose by 5 million. At present, it is 126 million. By the year 22, our population may be 243 million. Pakistan cannot progress if it cannot check its rapid population growth. Check it, we must, for it is not the destiny of the people of Pakistan to live in squalor and poverty. I dream of a Pakistan or in Asia or of a world where every pregnancy is planned and every child conceived is nurtured, loved, educated and supported. I dream of a Pakistan, of an Asia, of a world where we can commit our resources to the development of human life and not to its destruction. That dream is far from the reality we endure. We are a planet in crisis. A planet moving forward towards a catastrophe. The question is whether we have the will to do something about it. I say we do, we must. What we need is a global partnership to improve the human condition. The document with this conference on where the population produces should seek to promote the objective of planned parenthood of population control. 
This conference should not be viewed by the chimney masses of the world as a universal charter seeking to improve regulatory abortion, sex education, and other such matters or individuals, societies, and religions which have their own efforts. Government can do much to improve the quality of life in our society, but there is much they cannot do. Governments do not educate our children. Parents educate children, more often mothers. Governments do not teach values to our children. Parents teach values to our children, more often mothers. Governments do not socialize youngsters into responsible citizens. Parents are the primary socializing agent in society. In most societies, that job belongs to the mothers. How do we tackle population growth in a country like Pakistan? By tackling infant mortality, by providing villages with electrification, by raising a army of women, three, 33,000 strong to educate our mothers, sisters, daughters in child welfare and population control, by setting up a bank run by women for women to help women achieve economic independence and to have the wherewithal to make independent choices. As a chief executive of one of the nine largest populated countries in the world, I and the government face the awesome task of providing homes, schools, hospitals, okay, salvage, drainage, food, gas, electricity, and employment. Okay, the test is extracted from independent September the 7th, 1994. After reading the test, but it's up to us to explore it. Okay, uh, to do so, we are going to give different answers uh, to the following questions. Okay, the first question, the structure is clear. What we are going to do? Okay, we are going to say if the following, okay, uh, statement that I'm going to write very soon, are true or false. Okay, let's write the first statement. The first statement is the following. In 1994, the population the population of Pakistan of Pakistan was 50 million but you are going to see if this one is true or false okay second uh, statement the second statement is uh, the following uh, the offer of this test is a Pakistani. Number three, he is talking. Okay, the subject he replaced the offer. So we have it instead of uh, Okay, uh, saying the offer, offer, and to avoid repetition, okay, we are going to replace it by the subject pronoun, E. So, let's write, E is talking, is talking to an audience, is talking to an audience during a conference, during a conference. At last, 
Okay, our final URL, we have the, the last one. Pakistan is a European country. Okay, let's be back. Okay, uh, before dealing with this exercise, it's very important to read your test two or three times to make, uh, in order to make things clear, you must focus on the reading. Reading is the first step, okay? Now, at this stage, we are going to give, okay, uh, the following answers. Okay, we have, let's write answers. One. In 1994, the population of Pakistan was 50 million. True or false? Okay, the statement is false. Don't forget to write false in full letters. F, A, L, C, E. Not only F, no, it's forbidden. Good. Number two. Okay, according to the first statement, the second statement, sorry, the author of this test is a Pakistani. Pakistan is your, okay, Pakistani is, is a, what do you say, nationality, okay, Pakistani express is a nationality, uh, which is from Pakistan. So, the author of this test is a Pakistani, true or false? Okay, the right answer is... True. Number three. He is talking, I mean the author, he is talking to an audience during a conference. I repeat, he is talking to an audience during a conference. True or false? The first one is true. And finally, let's deal with the last statement. The last statement is, Pakistan is a European country. Because, uh, okay, uh, to tackle with uh, this uh, uh, question, try to refer to the test. Uh, because in the test, okay, we have uh, the following expressions or the, the following words, Pakistan, and Asia. Uh, for example, we say, I dream of a Pakistan of a Asia. You see, Pakistan, Asia. So, uh, the last uh, statement is not uh, correct. That means it is uh, false. Very good. It's uh, false. Good. Okay, as we know, okay, uh, the back test. Okay, related to English, we have four sections. The first section is about reading. And reading is composed of two kinds of exercises. The first one is true or false exercise. And the second one is WH or answer the questions exercise. That means we are going to ask okay, some questions. So we have B. Answer these questions. Answer these questions. Okay, what about the first question? The first question is the following. Is the offer a Pakistani? Is uh, the offer is 
the offer a Pakistani question mark. Number two, not a number two, there is a, okay, but, uh, okay, we have uh, another question. Okay, after answering uh, the first uh, step, well, is the offer, that's, because we have two questions, okay, inside uh, the question, uh, question number one. Is the offer a Pakistani, okay, but you are asked to give two Okay, reasons. Okay, reasons from the test. The test that demonstrates that the offer is from Pakistan. Okay, let's jump to uh, question number two. Okay, what is the offer pledging for? What is the offer pleading, pleading for? That means in French, de quoi parle-t-il? What is the offer pleading for? Number three, what are the problems? What are? What are the problems? What are the problems faced by the population? What are the problems faced by the population or the, by the population? Okay, it's right here in Pakistan. The question is, let me read it again. What are the problems faced by the population in Pakistan? And the last one, states the role of the government, state the role of the government state the role of the government and that of the parent and that of the parents the parents okay on, on résume le test parle de l'islam et d'une planète en crise. Et on s'est focalisé sur le cas du Pakistan, qui est un pays euh, d'Asie, dont la religion impacte sérieusement sur la vie de la population. Donc, là-bas, pour que quelqu'un soit considéré, une femme soit considérée un homme, il doit avoir beaucoup d'enfants. Or, Ici, notre planète est en crise. La crise est profonde. D'où la nécessité de contrôler donc nos, notre natalité. Donc, la croissance démographique doit être contrôlée, suivie. Sinon, il y aura un déséquilibre entre la production, l'espace et également la population. Okay, we have four questions. One, is the offer a Pakistani? Give two reasons from the test. Number two, what is the offer pledging for? Three, what are the problems faced by the population in Pakistan? Four, state the role of the government and that of the parents. Donc ici, on vous demande si l'auteur est un Pakistanais, quelles sont les raisons, uh, voilà qui, sous-tendent donc euh, cette assertion. Deux, vous avez de quoi parle-t-il Trois, quels sont les problèmes confrontés par la population au Pakistan 
et on dit de dire quel est le rôle du gouvernement et celui donc des parents dans cette alors donc problématique. Ok, so we have ok let's answer. Nous allons donc répondre à ces questions. Ok, the first one is is the offer a Pakistani give two reasons from the test. Alors, vous qui nous suivez à la maison, quelle peut être la réponse que l'on peut donner donc à cette question? Is the offer a Pakistani give two reasons from the test? Ok. So, we, say, we can say that yes, it is. D'abord, la première partie de la question, de la réponse, pardon. Donc, on vous dit est-ce que l'auteur est pakistanais Oui, il est. Yes, he is. OK, give two reasons from the test. Nous allons donc donner des raisons à partir du test. OK, the reasons are... OK, les raisons sont les suivantes. The reasons are... Colon, deux points... We have our population, our population, notre population, our population. Okay, we have as chief executive. Chief executive, c'est le premier ministre. Chief executive, le chef de l'exécutif of one of the nine the nine largest largest populated populated countries populated countries good number two We are, what is the offer pledging for? Okay, we say the offer the offer is pledging for okay, we say a Pakistani where every pregnancy is planned and every child conceived is nurtured, loved, educated and supported. For a Pakistan where every pregnancy, pregnancy, ici, ou chaque grossesse. Donc, l'auteur plaide pour un Pakistan où chaque grossesse doit être donc planifiée. Ok? We say, is. Is. Blind, ok, and every child, et chaque enfant, and every child, ok, and every child, and every child, conceived, Conçu is nurtured, nurtured, loved, nourri, aimé, educated, educate, educated, and supported, supported, soutenu, encadré, and so forth. Right. Ok, number three. What are the problems faced by the population in Pakistan? Quels sont les problèmes confrontés par la population du Pakistan? Ok, we have three. Les problèmes sont les suivants. The population in Pakistan are rapid population growth, a squalor, and poverty. Ok, on peut dire... Ok, the problems... The problems faced 
by the population. By the population. In by the population in Pakistan. Ah. Uh, okay, we have rapid. We have a rapid population. Okay, rapid population. Population growth. Rapid population growth. A squalor. Squalor. Poverty. And so forth. Okay, uh, the last one. State the role of the government and that of the parents. Dites le rôle du gouvernement et celui donc des parents. Okay, we have the role of the government. Uh, the role, the role of the government. The role of the government and that of a parent and that of and that of the parents et celui des parents is okay parents educate les parents éduquent and teach values et enseigne les valeurs and teach values to children okay whereas the government okay whereas the government okay let's clean now this part Okay, we say uh, the, uh, state the role of the government and that of the parent. Okay, we say the government, that means the government in general. We say the role of the government and that of the parent is parent educate and teach various to children. And government, or and the government. And the government builds homes, schools, hospitals, and so forth. So we have just finished with the section number one. OK, uh, as far as the section number one is concerned, uh, there are two kinds of exercises. The first one is about true or false, and the second one is about uh, answer uh, the questions. Okay. Now, let's move uh, to uh, section two. We have uh, okay, section two is entitled Linguistic Competence. Linguistic Competence. Okay, what is the main objective of this exercise? Okay, uh, the main objective of this exercise is to check your linguistic competence. Okay, we know that we are talking about English. Okay, the English language uh, has different aspects. We have functional aspects, uh, grammar aspects, and so forth. So, uh, at this stage, we are going to see if learners okay, should be able to deal with this section. Okay, let's move. Uh, we have uh, the first. The first one is uh, an exercise uh, related to, okay, related to vocabulary. 
Okay, the first one is about vocabulary. Okay, a small a, sorry, we have vocabulary. Vocabulary. Okay, you are asked to choose the best or the right answers from okay the right answers from a b or c the instruction is clear you are asked to choose the right answer not two answers the right answers from a b or c Okay, this exercise is called a multiple choice of questions. Okay, one. We have the word square law. Square law. Okay, colon. We have A. Square law means joy. B. Fairly well. Fairly well. And C, we have dreadful conditions. Dreadful conditions. Okay, that is the first uh, point. Okay, one, square law, A, joy, B, fairly world, C, dreadful conditions. Okay, let's jump to uh, question number two. Okay. Uh, the word is abortion. 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 A. Birth. B. Pregnancy. B. Pregnancy. And C. Pregnancy elimination. Pregnancy elimination. Uh, don't be confused. Okay, the instruction, as I said, is uh, clear. You are going to choose just one. Okay, not uh, two answers, just one. Number three. We have the word. Okay, we have uh, natured. Okay, we have the word nature. Okay, uh, I beg your pardon, please. Okay, uh, abortion is number three. Okay, please. Abortion here is number three. Abortion is number three. Okay, we have the first one is a square law. A, joy. B, a fairly word. C, dreadful, dreadful conditions. Okay, number two. The word is natured. Okay, natured. A. We have eaten. B. Dressed. Dressed. G R E W S E D. Dressed. Let us see. We have food. Food. F E and G. Number three. Abortion. Okay, abortion. A, abortion means we have birth. B, B, pregnancy. B, pregnancy. And C, pregnancy. Eli me elimination and pregnancy elimination. Okay, uh, let's clean all the the following. Okay, the related word is okay. 
is chimin. Chimin. Chimin means we have a empty. Empty B. We have overcrowded. Overcrowded. C. Reduced. Reduced. And the last one is growth. Okay, A, increase, A, increase, B, we have decrease, and C, stability, stability, C, stability. Okay, one, square law, two, natured, three, abortion, four, chimene, and five, okay, is growth. Okay, right. Okay, what about? Okay, what about the answers? It's right, answers. One, number one. Okay, your. Don't forget to focus on the context. Because uh, the meaning of a word depends on its context. Okay, uh, let's deal with the square law. A, joy. B, fairly well. C, very full conditions. Okay, the right answer is C. Number two. Natured, A, eaten, B, dressed, 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 and C, fed. So the right answer is, is third. Okay. Abortion, A, birth, B, pregnancy, C, pregnancy elimination. The best one is C, pregnancy elimination. Four, okay, chimin, A, empty, B, overcrowded, C, reduced. Chimin, A, MPT, B, overcrowded, and C, reduced. The best one is B. And the last one, five, growth, A, increase, B, decrease, C, stability. The best one is A. Thanks. Okay. B, grammar. Okay, let's clean uh, grammar. Okay, the following exercise is about grammar. Grammar one. Okay, you are asked to use what you say the instructions. The instructions. The instructions are given between. Given between. Given between, we have brackets filling in with between brackets. Okay, with with this model verbs we have can or could okay we have may or might can could may might should or ought to 
Okay. A. Government. Government. So provide villages, villages with hospitals, governments, suspension points. Okay, there is a, a gap, a blank. Okay, the exercise, uh, in all the t uh, terms, we can call it by a gap filling. Hein, vous allez remplir les vides par ces mots. On dit, use the instructions uh, given between brackets with these modal verbs. Okay, nous avons les verbes modaux, can, could, may, might, should, or ought to. Government provide with, uh, provide villages with hospitals. Okay, with hospitals, we have small b, governments, governments, okay, give the population, give the population free food, nourriture gratuite, Une alimentation gratuite. OK, free food. If they are too poor. Poor, on avait vu le mot poverty. Donc, pauvre, too poor, trop pauvre. Extrêmement pauvre. OK, if they are poor. OK. Uh, between the bucket, uh, beg your pardon, because uh, when you say government, uh, to, to make things clear, government provides uh, villages with hospitals, okay, we have moral obligation. Ça, c'est une obligation morale. Moral obligation. Moral obligation. Okay, uh, now uh, B, government give the population free food if they are Poor. We have uh, eventuality or eventuality, une eventuality or probability, probability, eventuality or probability. C. Government. Government. Okay, we have a gap. Uh, bid, bid, schools, bid schools. Uh, what your is? Uh, create a job if they like. Create jobs if they like. Okay, uh, the model of that you are going to use. Uh, uh, should be focused or uh, well, it refers to ability. Ability. We have uh, can I, eventuality, moral, and uh, ability. Donc ici, le verbe modal doit exprimer donc l'aptitude. Donc ça dépend des moyens. Ability. Okay. We G. Rich countries or developed countries, rich countries, we have uh, not exploit, not exploit, developing, developing countries. Okay, be careful about this adjective. Developing is not a developed country. There is a difference between a developed country and a developing country. Donc, ce sont des pays en voie de développement. Developing countries. Donc, developed with the past participle. De, developed, de. Okay? Developed refers to rich 
countries. Donc, euh, développer fait référence aux pays riches. OK uh, Such as the uh, United States of America, Japan, Germany, France, United Kingdom. Uh, developing countries, uh, OK, we can quote uh, uh, some of them. We have uh, Congo Brazzaville, uh, Senegal, uh, Zimbabwe, Ethiopia, GIC, Democratic Republic of Congo, and so forth. OK, developing countries. Right, no. Let's answer. Alors, on va. Let's answer. On va répondre donc à ces questions. Ici, vous devez faire attention sur l'usage de, des verbes modaux. Mais ici, entre guillemets, on dit « rich countries ». Ça se prochaine, ça signifie que la phrase a la forme négative. « Are not exploited developing countries ». Donc, nous avons euh, comme consigne. Alors ici, il s'agit donc d'une obligation morale. Ce n'est pas une contrainte, mais une obligation morale. « Moral obligation ». Une obligation morale. Ce n'est pas une contrainte. Ce n'est pas une loi. A rich countries, not exploit developing countries. Alors, donc, on revient ici. Nous allons, au lieu de recouper toute la phrase, nous serons obligés de donner justement l'adverse, euh, plutôt euh, le verbe modal qui convient. Hein, sinon, nous allons. Sinon, nous n'allons pas nous en sortir. Il y a une question de temps. OK. Let's do it. Et, vous qui êtes à la maison, on dit, let's be back, on revient. Government provides villages with hospitals. OK. Uh, the indication is given. We have moral obligation. Alors, ici, on parle d'une obligation morale. Donc, on peut utiliser donc « should » ou encore « ought to »,« devrait ».« Ought to »,« ought to »,« moral obligation ». Donc, c'est une obligation qui est morale. OK, B, « government give the population free food if they are too poor »,« eventuality »,« probability ». Donc, on peut utiliser soit « Can, ou en, oh, sorry, uh, soit um, may, ou encore might. Okay. Les deux. Pourrait, ok, may or might. Si. Donc, government may give or might give the population of free food if they are too poor. Eventuality or probability. Donc, on peut utiliser might. Donc, pourrait offrir aux populations, ce sont des populations pauvres, une aide alimentaire, donc une alimentation gratuite. OK, si, government, be it schools, create jobs if they lack ability. Ability, donc vous allez en faire, donc, fois à Ken. Ken ici exprime également l'habilité, l'aptitude. Donc, la capacité K. OK. Rich countries not exploit developing countries. Rich countries not exploit developing countries. Moral obligation. Donc, on revient ici. La même réponse. C'est une obligation morale et non une contrainte. Good. OK. Non. Number... Exercice numéro 2. De quoi il s'agit On dit « Use the future will can, may and must. »« Use the future. »« The future. 
with with me can um may may and must okay must must devoir obligation can ability may eventuality or probability okay the sentence we have they they cannot they cannot oh sorry they they cannot yes do it because they are busy now alors nous allons gagner du temps ah, ok because we are writing ok they cannot do it because they are busy now ok we have this proposal nous avons cette proposition next week ok uh, the subject they is a capital donc ici on a gardé they they point de suspension do it uh, because they and ainsi de suite alors on revient ici qu'est-ce qu'on nous demande ok we are asked to use the simple future with can uh, with can may and must alors qu'est-ce que nous allons faire alors dans des cas pareils, Ken devient l'infinitif de Ken, puisqu'il s'agit là de l'utilisation du temps futur. Ken devient, or Ken changes into, to be able to, c'est-à-dire être capable de. To be able to. Donc, alors, comme avec Ken note, It's not possible to use the simple feature. So, okay, we are going to say they cannot do it because they are busy now. On the next week, là, on change également la forme. Hein, selon les, les, les consignes qui sont données. Ici, nous allons mettre ça la forme affirmative. So, okay, what you are going to say next week, they will be able will be able to do it okay because parce que they will be free they will be free ils seront libres ils seront pas occupés they will be free okay b okay we have uh, you You may not. You may not drink. Okay. And cool. Year. You may not drink alcohol year. It is a sacred place. It is. It is a sacred place. C'est un endroit sacré. It is a sacred place. Maintenant, nous allons remplacer par cet temps au futur. Et si on nous a proposé. Okay. However, however, you will be allowed allowed to drink if you stay outside ces expressions là vous n'allez pas les inventer parce que ça sera in, c'est intégré donc on vous a proposé ça dire 
la phrase et également, vous avez donc la phrase initiale plus la proposition qui est faite. Donc, telle que nous avons ici, « Next week, they will be able to do it because they will be free. Okay. » Si. Okay. We must... We must protect... Protect the planet. We must protect the planet. No matter... What we must protect the planet no matter what. So we say the future generation response, the future generations, the future generations will. Okay, we'll have to defend, we'll have to defend the planet at all cost, at tout prix. Last one. Bon, pour faire rapide, because of time, okay. Okay, the, because uh, normally the, the first should be, okay, you to open your father's room two weeks after uh, his death, but the family council tomorrow. So, uh, in a short, you can say, you will be authorized, will be authorized, okay, we have, will be authorized, we have defend, will have to defend, will allowed to drink. Fourth, okay, you will be authorized and to open, to open your, your father's, your father's room Two weeks, weeks after is death by the family council, the family council tomorrow. Okay, uh, because of the importance of uh, today's activity, okay, the next part, okay, the next part, uh, uh, we are going to deal with uh, next time, okay, next time. Okay, uh, let's be back to uh, the first part, the, the subtitle, section two, linguistic competence. Okay, we have uh, a certain number of exercises. But this one is, uh, was about the using of, okay, the, the usage of the future with can, may, and must. It's very important. Why? Because we have to allow, it is just a permission. We have may, okay, may is a modal verb, okay, uh, that can what is it, refer to. Uh, a, uh, to a permission. Can, we have, uh, we have also possibility, uh, as we, we did uh, somewhere. Uh, yes, uh, it's also, what do you say, used for, say, ability and so forth. Master is an obligation, an obligation. So we have uh, this, uh, with the simple feature, instead of saying, you must do it tomorrow, we are going to say, you, you have, you will have to do it tomorrow, okay? Must is replaced by will, for example, you must go. If we have the adverb of time, for example, tomorrow, we say, you will have to go tomorrow. 
Okay, thank you for watching uh, our today's lesson. Okay, uh, as I said, uh, the rest of uh, the exercise will deal with it next time. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Take care of yourself because uh, the world uh, is uh, facing uh, a very serious disease that we call by the coronavirus pandemic. Thank you. Chers parents, chers élèves du préscolaire, primaire, collège et lycée, chers apprenants des centres d'alphabétisation et de rescolarisation, ce message vous concerne. L'école à domicile, c'est le nouveau programme du MEPSA. Désormais, apprenez via la télévision, la presse écrite et les réseaux sociaux à partir du site www.menepsa.org et de l'application L'école à domicile. Vous avez également la possibilité de suivre les cours à partir de la page YouTube MEPSA Congo, l'application Telenanga MTN Congo. À la télévision, les cours seront diffusés chaque jour de 8h à 14h et au quotidien dans les dépêches de Brazzaville. Maintenir la flamme de l'éducation dans la famille, un devoir des parents en cette période de crise sanitaire due au Covid-19. Tous derrière le MEPSA pour sauver l'éducation face à la pandémie du Covid-19.